Upon arrival, grooms will complete the sign-in process and report to the equine professional or barn manager in the barn aisle. There will be a schedule posted in the tack room with more specific instructions located on the whiteboard in the tack room. Horses are groomed in a specific order and need to be ready at different times depending on the class. Being familiar with the day's schedule and monitoring it closely will help each class run smoothly. Horses use stall time to rest and recover. Therefore, we ask grooms to carefully approach our horses so as not to startle them. Say the name of the horse and ask them to turn around to face the entrance. Carefully open the stall door and proceed into the stall. To correctly halter a horse, first place the lead rope around the horse's neck to ensure security. Then stand facing forward on the left side of the horse. Place the halter over the horse's nose and carefully over the horse's ears. Then buckle the throat latch to secure it in place. All horses must be tied using the quick release tie provided in each stall during all grooming and tagging procedures. The groom schedule in the tag room specifically outlines the saddle needed on any given horse for that specific class. There is also a tag chart located on the bulletin board in the tag room. This chart outlines the girth size, any special padding required, and the correct saddle for the scheduled class. Gather the required items and return to the horse's stall. Place the saddle pad on the horse's back. The saddle pad may cover the shoulder and wither. Next, place any additional padding the horse requires with that particular saddle. Then place the saddle on the horse's back. Please be sure the saddle is placed behind the shoulder blade such that it does not pinch and allows the shoulder to move freely. Please also ensure the saddle is centered on the horse. Next, tent the front of the saddle pad to allow for wither release and secure any saddle pad straps to the saddle. Then attach the girth to the billets on the side of the saddle. Move to the other side and carefully reach under the horse to gather the girth. Very slowly, tighten the girth by attaching it to the billets on the second side. Please remember, we will tighten the girth approximately three times before a participant mounts, so please move slowly and do not over-tighten the girth. Once a saddle is properly in place, it's time for the reins. Place the reins over the horse's neck and attach them to the halter. Once in place, please roll the reins and secure them in the throat latch of the halter, as if you were lunging the horse. This is to help avoid injury prior to the lesson. Stirrup lengths are listed on the schedule posted in the tack room. Please review this carefully and take note of both the left and the right stirrup length as they can be different. You will adjust the stirrup length once the saddle is in place and run up the stirrups again once complete. Following lesson completion, horse leaders will return all horses to their stalls and tie them using the quick release tie. Grooms will then resume care of the horse. They will untack and groom the horses. First, remove the reins. Next, slowly remove the girth, saddle, and any extra pads. The saddle will be returned to the appropriate rack in the tack room. The girth must first be sprayed with our rubbing alcohol mixture before it is returned to the tack room and placed on the wall rack on the appropriately sized hook. Once the saddle and pads have been removed, the horse is ready for grooming. Each horse has their own grooming bag located on the front of their stall. Inside this bag, you will find those items needed to properly groom each horse, as well as a cheat sheet with tips and tricks to familiarize you with the care needed for each individual horse. Once the horse is haltered and tied, you can begin grooming the horse. First, select the rubber curry comb and use this in a circular motion across the horse's entire body. This will loosen any dirt and debris in the hair coat. Next, select the hard bristle brush and use long strokes across the body, avoiding the legs and face with this brush. This will remove the loosened dirt and debris. Next, select the soft bristle brush and use long strokes across the body. It is safe to use this brush on the face and legs. This will put a finishing shine on each of our horses. Next, select the mane and tail brush this looks like a hairbrush and is used to remove tangles from the horse's mane and tail. 
If you notice many tangles or knots, please use some of the spray conditioner to help loosen the knots before continuing to brush. Lastly, select the hoof pick to clean the horse's hooves. Stand next to the horse and face the tail. Gently run your hand down the back of the horse's leg and ask them to pick up their foot. Use the hoof pick to clean out any rocks, dirt, or debris from the hoof, avoiding the frog. Be sure to clean away from you, heel to toe. Throughout the grooming process, please use caution when moving around the horse, always alerting the horse before moving behind them. All horses must be fly sprayed prior to each lesson. Fly spray is found in the clearly marked bottles throughout the barn aisle. Find a bottle and gently spray near the horse to alert them as to what is happening. Then begin on the horse, always spraying the legs first and then moving to the remainder of the body, but avoiding the face. Once horses are prepared for class and appropriately taken care of after class, grooms can focus on stall and barn management tasks. Stalls must remain clean at all times. Please monitor closely and remove any manure or wet spots as noticed. Water buckets will remain full and clean at all times as well. The majority of our equine therapists have free choice hay, meaning they can have an unlimited number of flakes throughout the day and therefore should have hay at all times. Always consult with the equine professional or other staff member before feeding a horse hay. We also ask grooms to ensure the barn area remains clean and presentable throughout the day. Please sweep the barn aisle as needed. We also ask our grooms to assist with additional miscellaneous equine related chores throughout the facility and during lesson periods. These chores include cleaning pastures, cleaning tech, scrubbing water tanks, bathing horses, etc. Additional chores are assigned in a rotating schedule and will be posted on the whiteboard in the tack room. Please cross off each chore as it is completed. Grooms develop strong bonds with our equine therapists and should carefully observe their behavior and physical condition each shift. If you notice any concerns or changes from a horse's normal behavior, please alert the equine professional, barn manager, instructor, or other staff member immediately.